What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the OnePlus 9 and the OnePlus 9 Pro. If you're on Verizon here in the States, you might be curious, are the OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro going to be fully compatible with their network? And yes. So here's a tweet from a PR person that works at Verizon or with Verizon, uh, George Coronios. And he said, I'm psyched to announce that the OnePlus 9 Pro and OnePlus 9 have been certified to work on Verizon and Visible. Visible is a prepaid Verizon carrier. That means you can buy it from your favorite retailer and know that it will work on Verizon 5G. Visit blah, blah, blah when you get your new phone to activate. And a little bit of extra information on here in case you're deciding between the OnePlus 9 Pro and the 9. The OnePlus 9 Pro will have ultra wideband compatibility. So if you want that like, those ridiculous speeds on Verizon, the one that's like, like two gigabits per second, get the 9 Pro. The 9 doesn't have that, but both have subpar six connectivity. So it'll still work on their slower 5G and the LTE and all that. And that goes for both of the phones, the 9 and the 9 Pro. But if you need the ultra, ultra, ultra fastest 5G speeds they have, you have to get the 9 Pro. Last story of the day, kind of an interesting story, especially if you're a Galaxy wearable fan, especially a Galaxy Watch fan. As you know, or if you didn't know, the new Galaxy Watches, the Galaxy Watch 4 and the Active 4, will not have Tizen as the operating system on there. They're gonna have Wear OS, which if you think about it, and I've said it before, they should have better app compatibility in terms of a bigger app library overall because of Google's Wear OS has a much larger uh, range of apps to get on there because it's run by Android slash Google. But let's talk about this tweet from Max Weinbeck. Max Weinbeck put out a couple of screenshots showing off what the new screens are going to look like, saying Samsung's changing the Galaxy wearable app ahead of the Wear OS launch because the Galaxy Watch 4 and Active 4 should be out in the next couple months or so and he says either way here's the new launch and pairing screen and here's the new pairing screen saying galaxy wearable if you have a galaxy wearable you can pair it with your phone here start pairing so i guess i, I don't remember what this looked like but i guess this is, he's saying it looks different and other people have said it as well and then when you scan for wearable devices again that's what that looks like so not anything hugely remarkable to see and look at but it's interesting nonetheless to see if you haven't seen it yet that's a lot of c's right there what you what to expect when and if you get the new watch or just a, a, a regular wearable watch to set up uh, on the the app so there you guys go thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe new videos every single day my question out to you guys is what is the next accessory you plan on buying next is it going to be a smartwatch is it going to be some some earphones is it going to be something i'm not thinking of I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. I, po I potentially might buy the wearable, uh, the, wa the Galaxy Watch 4. Potentially. We'll see how things go. I, I generally haven't been wearing a watch lately. I'm pretty good in the headphone department. So for me, I don't need an S Pen or anything. A case. I'll probably get a new case once I get my uh, Galaxy Z Fold 2 back. I'll probably get a brand new case. I'll probably get that Spigen case that's like 90 bucks. I'm not looking forward to paying for that, but yeah, that's probably what I'll get. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.